Hello. I'm about to introduce you to MLM's distributed live virtual and constructive training net. This enhanced capability is based on an innovative data link network that has high data throughput to be passed between large numbers of participants and utilize real-time distributed synchronization. Let's observe our solution that is scheduled to fly in the coming year. This is the lab setup, demonstrating two live fighter planes flying with ACMI pods, communicating through the ANGI LBC network and displaying the information for the pilots on the tablet. Simulating live fighters' navigation data is done by replacing it with recorded flight data. These aircrafts are connected by RF communication to a ground reception station, which is not mandatory in the live sessions. The training instructor station facilitates full control of the constructive exercise entities, including the ability to create, delete, and change the entity's doctrine. The flight simulator data is uplinked into the network throughout the ground reception station. The constructive entities incorporated in the training are generated and managed by the processors within the airborne pods that are mounted on the fighters. We will demonstrate a training scenario of live fighter jets and a simulator trainer facing enemy aircraft and threats. The live fighter's pods are responsible for creating and managing constructive elements of red aircrafts in addition to transmitting their own data. The third blue member is flown by a simulator pod. Additional two constructive red fighters and the red SAM battery are generated by the ground station and then operate according to predefined rules and doctrines. So let's jump into the scenarios. Here you can see a live aircraft launching a missile against a simulated aircraft. Here's a simulated aircraft launching missiles against live aircraft. Here, a simulator pilot launching missiles against a simulated aircraft. And here, a SAM battery launching hostile missiles. When a live participant leaves the training network, Responsibility for managing their entities is then transferred to another live participant. The basis for this solution is the integration of a new LVC application within the airborne pods, whose main role is to integrate and synchronize ACMI and synthetic entities. New hardware incorporated into the pod upgrades the CPU power and increases the rate of data transfer, which is required to implement airborne LVC capability. This also allows the integration of advanced data encryption. The ANGI LBC network is interoperable with the legacy Ehud, FPR, and RAIS network used by many air forces around the world. This is definitely an enhanced solution that will enable you to implement innovative capabilities for advanced aerial training. MLM ANGI LBC is your network for implementing LBC capabilities. IAI, where courage meets technology.